हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम बी एस सत्यार्थी फ्रॉम ग्लोबल कॉलेज ऑफ लॉ एंड सेल वी कंटिन्यूइंग टॉकिंग ऑन आईपीसी 1860 विच यस्टरडे वी हैड लेफ्ट एट वन पॉइंट एप्लीकेशन ऑफ मेन्सरी एंड इंडियन पिनल कोड एंड बाइड विच वी हैड कम टू वन डिस्कशन दैट बर्ड मेन्सरिया हैज नॉट बीन मैंशन इन एनी वेयर इन द IPC, we are section from one number one to five hundred eleven. However, every word, every clause has been defined in a way that it is complete in itself. But mensria are not used anywhere. However, the equivalent words to those of the mensria in the IPC code used are. See, when mensria is there, what happens? That terms are defined differently, like dishonesty, like fraudulently, like reason to believe, like voluntarily. so these are the things means mensria is no where uh, mentioned however uh, complete words have been taken uh, in account so this is the point in modern statutory offences the maxim has no longer applicable and the statutes are to be regarded as themselves prescribing the mental element which is prerequisite to a conviction so mensria is an essential element of crime and in every penal value penal statute unless the same either expressed or by necessary application is ruled out by the statute see until it is ruled out by any other statute expressly or necessary implication See, then it is called like that. See, mela inse and mela prohibita. See, there are two beautiful terms are there: mela inse and mela prohibita. Mela inse is the common. This is one usually common law crimes. Those dangerous to life. You know, there are certain crimes which are very dangerous to life or limb. Battery and grand larceny. or petit larceny are examples of the offenses of that courts that held to me to be mela inse means there are two types of the crimes like grand larceny see anybody is dispossessed of his some property and the value of property is more than the legal value so it is called grand larceny when petit larceny is called when anybody is dispossessed of any property the value of that property is legal value of that property is less than the property apparent accordingly mela prohibitia per prohibita mela prohibita is also one term used in ipc or oh sorry mensria is a term used to prescribe conduct that is prohibited by law although not inherently evil courts commonly classifying statutory crimes as mela prohibitia this however is not a fixed rule since not all statutory crimes are classified as such examples of the mela prohibitia include public intoxication like intoxication in public place carrying a concealed weapon mana aap concealed weapon ek chupa ke le ja rahe hain weapon to ye mela prohibita mein aata hai <coughs> isi tarah se public place pe intoxication karna logon mein zehar baantna शराब बांटना सो दिस कम्स अंडर मेला प्रोहिबिटा सी कंसील करके छुपा के एक जगह से दूसरी जगह हथियार ले जाना बिना लाइसेंस के बिना परमिशन के सो दिस कॉल वॉलुंट्री कंडक्ट ए मैन इज गिल्ट लेस इफ हिज मूवमेंट्स विच लेट टू द हार्म वे आर इन वॉलुंट्री मीन्स एनी बडी हु एक्ट आर इन वे दैट गेव हार्म and if he doesn't know and his guilt is not there if he doesn't possess guilt then he is not responsible for that he won't be punished for that like a nurse in a hospital putting the child behind a large fire by thinking it has a log of wood matlab usne samjha ek lakdi ka bahut bada tukda hai aur usne fire ke piche rakh diya jabki tha wo bachcha usko knowledge nahi hai 
सो so, इस तरह का क्या आएगा वॉलुंट्री कंडक्ट में नहीं आएगा फोर साइट ऑफ द कंसिक्वेंसिस एन एनी एक्ट विच इज वॉलुंटरी रिजल्टेड इन दार्म एंड द हार्म वॉज नॉट कंटेम्पलेटेड मैन शुड नॉट बी पनिश्ड अनलेस ही हैड बीन अवेयर दैट वाट ही वॉज डूइंग विल लीड टू मिस्टीवस रिजल्ट There are certain terms which we should understand in IPC: intentional recklessness, negligence. Intentional denotes the state of mind of a man who not only foresees but also desires the possible consequences of his conduct. Conduct. There cannot be intention unless there is also foresight. A man cannot intend to do a thing unless he desires to do it. Quite simple. So this is called intention. Recklessness, intention cannot exist without foresight, but foresight can exist without intention. Understand? आदमी को पता होता है कि ये गलत ये यहां से कूदेगा तो मर जाएगा Intention हो या ना हो ये common sense की बात है If a person foresees the possible consequences of his conduct, yet not desire them to occur, but persist on his course, thereby knowing runs. The risk of bringing about the unwished result, this state of mind is called reckless. Some feature of recklessness are: man who is reckless may prefer that the contemplated event shall not happen, or may not care whether it happens or not. In both these situations, that person does not desire the event to happen. He doesn't desire to happen, but he knows the consequences. so this is recklessness misro or recklessness which we have read only two states of mind which constitute means three are intention and recklessness intention hai ya nahi recklessness ke consequences by care see next term very important term is by care is liability at common law it is to be understood very well often it is talked that by care is liability is the liability Occurred due to the misdeed of a servant. No, it is not. It occurred due to your not foreseeing the consequences. You are not able to foresee in case any responsibility is given to your servant, and he is not able to handle that properly, and harm takes place. It will be entailing. by care is liability again i want to repeat by care is liability is when you are not able to foresee the consequences and you have not taken adequate steps thereby falling below the standard to be expected that is suppose your driver is there a driver doesn't possess the real the see driving license he doesn't know how to drive and you are giving your car to drive to this pen By chance, any accident happens to take place. You had not taken proper steps to stop the occurrence of this incident because you have given key of the car to a driver to drive who doesn't possess proper license or who doesn't have experience. Experience along with the drive. So here, liability will be vicarious liability. Let us repeat and understand very well. by care is liability is only when we are not able to foresee the consequences due to improper steps due to lack of proper steps taken to handle that situation <coughs> it is to be understood very well negligence and criminal liability for negligence at common law tortious liability can be imposed if certain conditions are fulfilled at common law there is no criminal liability caused by in adversaries tense इन एडवर्टेंस माने गलती से कोई काम होता है तो कॉमन लॉ में कोई भी क्रिमिनल लाइबिलिटी नहीं है ओनली स्ट्रिक्ट लाइबिलिटी की बात की गई है स्टेटरी ऑफेंसेस एन ऑफेंस इज बेसिकली वायलेशन ऑफ लॉ वट इज ऑफेंस बेसिक वायलेंस ऑफ लॉ इन लीगल पार्लेंस दर्ड ऑफेंस इज जनरली कॉन्स्टिट्यूट एज ए क्रिमिनल रॉन्ग हैंस ऑफेंस मीन्स ए रॉन्ग इन पीनल लॉ द कोर्ट ऑफ क्रिमिनल प्रोसीजर Criminal Procedure 1973 defines 
ऑफेंस एज एन एक्ट और ऑमिशन मेड पनिशेबल बाय एनी लॉ फॉर द टाइम बीइंग इन फोर्स एंड इंक्लूड्स एनी एक्ट इन रेस्पेक्ट ऑफ विच ए कंप्लेंट मे बी मेड अंडर सेक्शन 20 ऑफ द कैटलिक टेस्ट पास एक्ट 1871 This is guidelines for offences related to the code, but there are other steps of offences too. The ones that are created by different statutes, like those related to taxation, national security act, etc., they are commonly referred to as statutory offences. These are the statutory offences. Statutory offences any act or omission made punishable by any law for the time being in force. and includes any act in respect of which a complaint may be made under section 20 of the cattle trespass act this is a guideline of offence relating to the court but there are other types of offences too the one that are created by different institutes mensria and statute statutory offence before a criminal criminal is made liable he should be proven to have some blame for the mental condition mensria For example, when someone attacks you, then causing injury to him in private defence is not a crime, but causing injury with the intention of revenge is a crime. See, anybody, if you go for the private defence, it is not a crime, but if you, with a revengeful spirit, you are going to take any action, then it's a crime. This is how the presence of a guilt, guilty mind changes the nature of the offence. Guilty mind, guilt in mind changes the nature of offence. suppose you have gone with the revengeful spirit to take any action then it is called criminal liability is there mens rea is there this is how the presence of guilt mind changes the nature of the but the requirement of a guilty mind varies from crime to crime an intention which would qualify as a required mens rea for one crime may not for some other crime very good see these are the things about mens rea we should understand very well criminal liability variations in criminal liability mistake condition to be fulfilled for availing mistake of fact as a defense mistake of fact may be taken as a defense section 7679 of ipc the mistake must relate to fact and not to law mistake of law is not a bliss mistake of law fact may be the state of things will believe to exist would if true have justified the act done mistake must be reasonable act done under order of superior authority the accused believing himself to be bound by law while entitled to the protection under section 76 you under the authority of superior any act is done see then there is a defense obscenity prior clarification by the censor board provides justification in law in provide in exhibiting the film intoxication involuntary intoxication under ipc section 85 incapability to know the nature of his act incapable of knowing that the thing he was doing was either wrong or contrary to law intoxication without knowledge or against will voluntary intoxication under ipc where there is a presumption of pro- particular knowledge or intent quite good definition intoxication is voluntarily or involuntary see without notice if somebody has been made intoxicated and he does any wrong he this means he will get protection under section 85 of ipc however anybody knowingly gets intoxicated and does harm it will carry punishment for that a very good case is there case law is there jethuram sukhra nagbhansi versus state 1860 nature of intoxication and the basis of interpretation of against the bill against the bill compulsion likewise it is said under compulsion an act done by me against my desire my will is not my act any against my will so there will be a defense under section 94 ipc except murder and offenses against state punishable with death isme exception hai murder nahi hona chahiye aur koi bhi against state 
जो पनिशेबल विद डेथ है अगेंस्ट से ऐसा कोई आपने किया कि जो स्टेट के अगेंस्ट है और जिसमें डेथ पनिशमेंट है ये दोनों एक्सेप्शन है अदरवाइज डिफेंस मिलेगा राइट क्वाइट सपोर्ट सो इट टू इट इज टू बी डिफेंस ऑफ नेसेसिटी सेक्शन 81 वन डॉक्टर इन ऑफ नेसेसिटी इज देयर अंडर विच इफ एनी हार्म इज डन वे सपोज यू आर सेविंग लाइफ ऑफ हंड्रेड पीपल एंड ए लाइफ ऑफ वन पर्सन गोज एंड यू आर सेव्ड हंड्रेड पीपल सपोज एनी ड्राइवर ड्राइविंग ए बस कंटेनिंग सिक्सटी पीपल एंड ऑन रेड सम हजार टेक्स प्लेस इन वे दैट टू सेव द बस ए वन पर्सन गोइंग ऑन द रोड इज किल्ड सो हियर ही विल गेट ए डिफेंस अंडर सेक्शन एटी वन ऑफ आई पी सी विच कॉल्स द डॉक्टाइन ऑफ नेसेसिटी दिस इज है नेसेसिटी ओवरकम्स लॉ नेसेसिटी एज ए रीजन फॉर होमिसाइड फॉर दैट ए केस लॉ इज देयर आरबी डुडले एंड स्टीफन्स 1884 वेरी गुड केस इज देयर स्टूडेंट शुड नो इट 